joining Cruise Line as part of another strong summer lineup of original programming, including a magic series starring Penn and Teller, from TMZ and Harvey Levin, the new Doctor series, Famous in 12, coming later this summer, an all-new cycle of America's Next Top Model, plus special events like the Critics' Choice Television Awards, the Young Hollywood Awards, and of course, the biggest concert event of the year, the iHeartRadio Music Festival, which will kick off our fall season once again. So now, let me take you through our fall schedule. Having improved Tuesday through Friday, we are looking to grow and broaden our audience on Monday nights, which is why the bad boys of the hit series, The Originals, a proven self-starter, are moving to Monday, followed by our new comedy, Jane the Virgin. Tuesday night, we have non-stop action with our newest superhero, The Flash, followed by Supernatural returning at night. Tuesdays at 8 was a great launching pad for the originals this year. And we know The Flash will get off to a fast start there next fall. After moving to Tuesday night at 9 this season, Supernatural had its highest rated season in four years. This is truly remarkable for a series going into its 10th season. 10 years and 200 episodes. It is the story of two brothers who have spent the past nine years hunting monsters and battling the forces of evil. To heaven, hell, and back, here's a quick journey through nine seasons of brotherly love, Winchester style. Supernatural family for 10 years. Yeah, this is going to be the 10th season we've played brothers. And I want to say really quickly that I feel like even off screen we've sort of become brothers. I mean, we've gone from 20 something bachelors to 30 year old husbands and fathers. Um, and there's nobody I would have rather spent the last nine years growing up and chasing demons and fighting monsters with than this guy. <laughs> It's 
Thanks, man. <laughs> this is where you, uh, when you say something nice, like I just said about me. Something nice? About me. Your hair is fantastic. <laughs> He's a terrible fake brother. Um, thank you to everyone who supported us for the last nine years. Here's hoping we go nine more. Yeah. Hey, it is wonderful to have them back next season. Now, on to Wednesday nights. We are staying right on target with what Time Magazine has called the best on-screen superhero franchise, Arrow, returning at eight, followed by the critically acclaimed adventure series, The Hundred. Thursday nights, we have two hours of bloody sexy drama with our highest rated series, The Vampire Diaries, returning for another season Followed by Mary Queen of Scots defending her throne in rain at night. Friday nights this fall, we will continue to have new episodes of Who's Line, followed by America's Next Top Model. And our commitment to more original programming continues. Since the 2010-11 season, the amount of year-round original programming on the CW schedule has grown by 43%. With that in mind, we will return to Bluebell, Alabama with original episodes of Haunted Dixie and the fan favorite romance, Beauty and the Beast, we will also return with a whole new episode. Plus, we have two new dramas on tap for mid-season. First, The Messenger. What if the rapture, the end of days, was coming, and only you were given the power to stop it? This is The Messenger.